Good day everybody. We are now going to talk about the first lesson of Unit 9 and that is the roles and functions of communicators and journalists. So as we previously talked about communication, the discipline of communication, the concept, as well as putting it into context, this time we are now going to talk about the roles and the functions of communicators and journalists. And we are very much indeed uh, supposedly enamored or included in this discussion because we are communicators whether we like it or not and we become journalists as well with the advent of technology therefore there is an important role and function that we that we uh, establish right is into uh, the, the spreading of the information as well as the process of communication so with this lesson, I want you to take down salient in and important points to ponder as well as questions that may arise, especially during the course of this discussion. Now, if there are, make sure that you're going to jot them down so that we can study them and we can raise them during our online discussions. Now, for this part or for this point, I would like you to focus on this essential or this general concept with our lesson. Communication shapes how people interpret, evaluate, and act upon the events around them. That's a given notion, right? That with the use of communication, there is now a shaping of how people will interpret, people will evaluate, and how people will act upon the events that surrounds them. Now, with this regard, I want you to take note of this general concept because from here, we are going to deepen our understanding as to how communication as a process shapes how people interpret, evaluate, and act upon the events around them. Now, our main objectives for this lesson are the following. First, we define communication. Palauma na to ang ato pagsabot. What is communication? And we identify the different roles and functions of communicators and journalists. So, ato akarong identify ko unsa ang mga nagkadaiyang mga uh, responsibilidad, the different roles and functions of communicators as well as of journalists. Now, with that being said, I want you to take note of this essential question that we will be trying to answer as we go along with our discussion. How important is integrity in delivering factual information. Take note that there is a central theme to this question that we are going to be revolving during the course of our discussion, the word integrity. Again, how important is integrity in delivering factual information? That only means that it is already a given. Now, when we deliver factual information, it should be done with integrity. Now, how important is integrity in general and in the context in delivering factual information, right? With that being said, or with that being asked, let's try to go now and deepen our understanding with communication and the discipline of communication. Huh? Discipline din ng communication, sir. Abi na mo, oh, process lang yun na siya, sir. Actually, class, there is a discipline that we need to adhere to when we discuss and talk about communication because this is very vital into how we move and how we are as a society in general, right? One slip in the communication process as what we have discussed in our previous lesson, one slip in the communication process will lead to multitude of problems, conflicts, and misunderstanding that ultimately doesn't generate any positive or productive output in the individuals as well as in the group of individuals of a particular community and of society in general. So, we begin by talking about the discipline of communication. Communication is practiced by communicators and journalists. As a profession, this is practiced by communicators and journalists. Communication class or the discipline of communication is to deliver information to the public. That's why there is a need to understand the discipline of communication because 
our clientele or our target here is to deliver information to the public. Now, with that being said, communication or the discipline of communication in this essence, when we talk about delivering information to the public, is emphasizing now that information is analyzed to help the public clearly understand social concerns and issues. So there is a process with this statement. The information kuno that we deliver to the public is being analyzed. Why? Why is it being analyzed? In order for this information to help the public clearly understand social issues and concerns. So the point there is to help the public. Now if the communicate or the information communicated is not helping the public because it did not go through analysis then the discipline of communication is not only violated but it is also defeating the purpose of communication therefore after we take note that in communication there is the delivery of the information to the public there should be now the understanding and the acceptance of the fact that information is analyzed to help the public clearly understand social concerns and issues with this in mind we bear to identify and remember that in the discipline of communication there is collecting and documenting of information there is a need for that and it must be at the service of truth that's why we begin this discussion with the highlighting of the word integrity in delivering right factual information because communication is not only collecting and documenting information but it should, it must be at the service of truth. Whether the truth is interesting, the truth is boring, the truth is ugly, the truth is unappealing to a certain sector or a certain group, communication should always be collecting and documenting information at the service of truth or in the service of truth. That is a given. There is no consideration, there is no Dili na siya pwede balio, dili na siya pwede i-bend nga notion, dili na siya pwede i-bend nga discipline or idea. Because information should be truthful, should be factual, and it should be done, or the process of delivering communication, or no, sorry, the process of delivering information should always be done with integrity as its backbone. So kung wala'y integridad ang imong information, then ultimately, you're causing some sort of chaos to society or to the public, right? Now, let's try to focus now on information, the concept of information. Hence, we are now going to delve into the rules and functions of communicators and journalists. Let's first talk about information. Information focuses on issues crucial to society. That is one of the many roles and functions of communicators and journalists. We also report information to the public. And we highlight facts and events that matter. You are not going to report the glory detail to the public because, again, information should be understood. In the previous statement that we have stated, when we talked about the discipline of communication, information now should be analyzed to help the public understand clearly the social concerns and issues. Therefore, when we focus on issues crucial to society, there is a need to report this information to the public, but we only highlight the facts and the events that matter. We don't dwell anymore on the glory details, especially when it does not matter anymore to the interest of the public. If you can take a look at the picture class, the statement or no, the, the headline talks about specificity as well as uh, the details that matter. Let's say the 236 words that will divide, that will decide whether we go to war in Syria. So that is very compelling. That is a crucial issue of society and it is reporting an information to the public whether or not the government or the governments of the world 
is deciding to go to war again, which is again a very vit a very uh, pressing issue of society. Now, with this report, we should be able to, or we should highlight facts and events in order for us to manifest, right, what we need to know and what the public needs to understand in a given pace and time because informations are changing every now and then. Not daily, but it changes, let's say, from one afternoon to another or from one morning, let's say, nine o'clock in the morning, change na dayon siya by two o'clock in the afternoon. It is developing, kumbaga, and dynamic. Now, another role of communicators and journalists is not only to focus on information in general but also to give guidance to influence people through words animation and photos and shape public opinion about a particular concept or idea that we are focusing at that mat at that at that instance so it is a very crucial a very important role and function of communicators and journalists with that we provide guidance by influencing people through words, animation, and photos. Muna nga natay mga editorials, natay feature, because we need to understand how we are going to influence people with our information given that we can shape public opinion. Now here is where it becomes crucial and where it becomes tricky. Kay kumuingon mang good kag we shape we shape public opinion it could be manipulative the statement could be in a manipulative manner but if the manipulation there is proactive then there should be a need for us to shape a public or to shape public opinion for us to become critical proactive members of our right of the different social issues that are at hand Muna siya diha ang bot pasabot sa atong role and function when we provide guidance, when we influence people, not to manipulate people or enslave people, but to present critically the issues where we need proactive, right? Con uh, proactive participation, proactive and critical decision making. Muna siya bot pasabot ni Ana. We also need to be able to have interpretation of the news. That's a very important function and role of communicators and journalists. There should be interpretation of the news. This talks about assisting the public in understanding the facts and events being reported. Take note, the word is assisting. Not to dictate to the public what they should and should not understand with the facts given about the event that is being reported but there should only be assistance simply just presenting the news cultivating critical thinking and wise decision making with regards to that event and we need to control to manifest control over which themes or issues to focus on communicators and journalists have that responsibility as well as that advantage they also have that power to gain and to have control over which themes or issues we focus on kaya gani kaganiha diba we provide or we shape public opinion with that we also give assistance to the public in understanding the facts and the events that are happening that we are reporting because ultimately we can give or have control over which themes and issues we focus on. Mona class that media, right? Media in itself is a very powerful tool of people that are used or misused. Sometimes ginabusar, sometimes ginagamit sa tama, but ultimately it provides control. Who has control? Of course, ang mga nagpaluyo. Muna nga, there are a lot of exposés that you can see in the current administration about different media outlets because the control that they have on the themes and issues that they focus on is not providing proactive and critical participation by the public but instead is providing manipulation and biases. That's why we should be more critical 
Okay, if not, then remember the word here that we are trying to emphasize is control. These medias will now have control over your chain of thought, over your decision, over your perspective. And remember, perception is reality. Muna ang ilahang kanabitong uh, uh, tumbanan, muna ang ilahang lifeblood sa ilahang profession. If they are paid, I, I don't like to use the term paid media because I don't believe that media is kanang mabayran. Naman sila ginapaglaban, it could be their own you know, interest, vested interest as to how they promulgate their uh, connection or control. But then again, it should not be taken as that because as a profession, as a professional that is also related to being a communicator or journalist, Maraglain man paminaw that there is paid uh, media personnel, pero it, it is reality. But then again, these media or the, the media outlets, ang lifeblood yun anak nila is perception, the, the idea that perception is reality. What people believe or perceive to be true will also become part of their reality. Kung matoo sila, nga maayog yun nga tao, maayog yun nga kandidato, ilag yun ang puyan. Kung matuho sila nga lami dyan ni nga pagkauna, masigdili, good lami. Uh, you know, it's their perception, so that's, that belongs to the reality. Here's a different context. Kung muingon ka nga lami mukaon ani nga restaurant that is serving one meal for 350 or 400 pesos, tapos the same food can be eaten in the carinderia for, let's say, uh, less than 50 pesos. Of course, kung imong perception is derika sa mahalon or high end because you can afford, you can you are celebrating, you are doing this or so forth. There is now you know your perception to it. Then dito juga mukaon. Pero kung imu halang is to just you know save money, eat normally, eat lutong bahay. Oh, dito ka sa karenderia, which is more practical. So if your perspective now is on the practicality side, oh, you choose which is practical, which is the karenderia. But if your perception now is on the you know, experience of uh, fine dining, luxury dining, or dito jukas mahalon. So that's what I mean when you say perception is reality. What people believe, well, they will pay money or they will, they, the, the, the katong nagpaloyuan na will gain control over these people, right? So that's a very important role of communicators and journalists to interpret news, to only interpret the news, to provide assistance, not to dictate and not to show and give biases, right? Another, another role and function of communicators and journalists, that is to educate, to give education. What does that mean? This means that we educate people by guiding them in various issues through editorial pieces. Take note, editorial pieces. You cannot educate people with what is already substantiated. There must always be a touch of uh, editorial, especially when you are talking about critical and sensitive issues. So that should be understood. There should also be encouragement or encourage the public to participate in society building. Manang, I have already coined the term kaganiya, critical thinking, proactive participation. Because one role or uh, one role and function of communicators and journalists is for us to provide education, for us to educate people, not just to inform people, pagpahibalo, kundili pagtudlo, pagpahigmata sa mga tao na there is a need or, you know, you encourage the public that there is a need to participate in societal building, in nation building. How do we do that? We also take note and we also emphasize different editorial pieces from credible sources or credible scholars, right? That is why it is very important that there is a continuous process of education. Whether you are already a professional or you are still in your teen years, there must always be continuation of education because it is vital. I'm not saying that it provides food per se, but it is vital, right, to how we are going to come up with the critical participation or critical thinking and proactive participation. So that's one role and function of communicators and journalists, and that needs to be 
able to provide education and to educate people. So what's the thing that we need or what's the most important lesson that we need to remember when we talk about this role and function? We need to be teachable. Meaning to say, pwede kang maturuan. You do not act as if you know everything because if you do, then even if the very compelling people encourage you, then you do not anymore, you do not anymore care. Wala na kay pake because you di naman ka matudluan. You are not teachable anymore. You are not going to be educated anymore. Now, another role and function of communicators and journalists is to provide entertainment. Providing entertainment to the public audience, be it sports, theatrical, hobbies, and leisure. So it depends on you on what entertainment you provide to the public or to your audience, depending on you know, the, the interest that they show, whether be it sports, theatrical, hobbies, or leisure. Muna nga, uh, entertainment is a very big business in the world because that is an escape for people. That is our way of integrating you know, the hardships that we encounter, the triumph that we experience. You know, it, it gives relief to people. Muna, that when you are interested in joining the in entertainment industry, then you also need to be ready not just with you know what what talent you have what uh, how you are able to provide the information or to provide or communicate you know your your talent your kumbaga the information of that vested interest but you also need to be ready right to receive you know uh, the unwanted or unexpected reaction from your audience because makita man nato karon in in social media na mag vlog Delete ang kilikod ang vlog. And then, you know, would ultimately say na depressed. Mag self-diagnose ka na depressed. Actually, they are just sad and stressed. Na nung delete sila vlogger. Or na po na laos. And then they would take it against, you know, different people. Take it against different experiences. So, you must be ready as well. When you provide entertainment to the public or to a particular audience, you know, be it sports, theatrical, hobbies, leisure, whatever, vlogging, whatever it may be, then you also need to be ready to the backlash that you're going to receive. More gina siya in, uh, more po na siya in other, you know, in other roles and functions of communicators and journalists. There are always reactions that do not suit your objective, that do not suit your expectation, and ultimately does not suit what you want to happen, right? But ultimately, one role and function of communicators and journalists is to provide entertainment in various forms of you know interests of people now another role and function of communicators and journalists is to report reporting duties this is to gather first hand information meaning to say dili nila nadunggan lang kung dili na witness gyud nila na cover gyud nila ang story and ilag yung git kumbaga gi analyze gyud nila taman kung unsa ang nahitabo what event happened and they conduct research for their stories that's how you become credible you conduct research and you choose critically what you are going to base from your report okay, kung puro ra pug kag kanang naysayers hearsay ultimately mahulog lang jud professional marites but if your research is conducted thoroughly and critically then you become credible because the first-hand information that you have gathered is from rigorous research and filtering whether this is relevant or not. Muna class na the role of or the jobs of professionals na journalists are very commendable because they need to be critical thinkers. They need to be proactive and they need to still in embody you know, the, the integrity that with the gathered first-hand information, they are to pre they are able to present it to the public that is understandable. Muna nga masabtan po di mo why people, and I'm not saying nga masabtan ni mo to tolerate, ha? masabtan ni mo, mahibal ni mo, why people, why journalists tend to succumb to being biased. Kay siguro, they don't have enough time or sugo sa ilang amo, that's why they become biased. But ultimately, it does not bring prosperity to any stakeholder, whether the public that they wish to inform or the, the 
employee employers that they have but then again that's again uh, duty and responsibility of communicators and journalists we have the reporting duties another duty and responsibility is to be able to work with people given that you're going to cover and to gather first-hand information you must be able to work with people well there is a need for collaboration in delivering meaningful information and involvement with different people is a given so especially when you go Karabita worldwide you are a news correspondent of the country to America to Africa to you know different parts of the world there is an important need for collaboration in order for you to deliver meaningful information because if it is not being you know delivered out of collaboration on a then people will not draw any meaning out of the information that you have that, that is why there is a need for you to be involved with different people whether it's good whether it's bad or whether it's awful the involvement with these people is needed in order for you to be able to deliver meaningful information right next legal responsibilities ano po ni legal responsibilities sir muratag lawyer and yes we need to follow the law by respecting people's privacy and we need not to be careless with our actions because these careless actions will ultimately result into tons and tons of lawsuits remember class that we have freedom of speech we have freedom of expression the world is free but it is not free of laws and lawsuits so if you are not careful with your actions you are not responsible and you do not respect people's privacy if there is a provi uh, if there is a probable cause makasuhan jud ka did you kasantohon abi kay you know communicate uh, you are communicating or you are a journalist no somewhat na journalists will be targeted by these propagandas nga makasuhan sila one way of expounding we follow the law by respecting people's privacy wala pagyud bugi panganak klaro jud na and sigurado jud ko ana because this was the year that i was born 1997 that is what happened to the late princess diana Princess Diana of Wales, she is very famous. And I'm saying, it, I'm using the, the uh, present tense is because until now, her influence is still felt. Labina with her children, no? the, prince, the princess of um, England. Pero Princess Diana was so instrumental into media, mainstream media in the late 70s, entire 80s, and early to mid 90s that she became the eye of the the eye of the darling of the crowd ultimately so she died because of the media and that is given in different documentaries already there was turmoil in her relationship with prince charles unya karon tungod kay ang media lagi siya ang darling of the crowd they, they followed her all throughout wherever she she went she was more popular even compared to prince uh, compared to queen elizabeth ii masikat pa siya sa reyna and she is not even blood related to the royal family she is just kanang royal by marriage nahimo ra siyang royal family by marriage but you know she's beautiful she's smart she has causes that are admirable that's why the media and the people in general loved her but because there was no respect for her privacy out oh, Ultimately, she was involved in a car accident that got her and her uh, partner, boyfriend, killed. So, Mona, people will say, or the headline, the media killed Princess Diana is really true, is really a given. Because there was no more respect for her privacy, even if she was a public figure. Uh, Karol, makita na to, mainstream. Uh, recently, Britney Spears, katayang conversa, uh, conversatory, a uh, converse. Uh, conservation a uh, conservatorship conservator ana so na pui, wala pui respeto ang media ana sa privacy sa tao because they always you know they always make it as their subject kay na makai kwarta gyud babaligya ana tabloids nimo articles nimo but then again the question there is if 
these actions are still anchored or backboned by integrity. So that's the legal responsibilities that we need to take note as communicators and journalists. Kung wala na, ako pwede dito ka makasuhan, labi na pag you are very vocal in mainstream media, maganing nga issue ka ayo itong nakadawat si Maria Ressa sa Nobel Prize. I think it was the Nobel Prize for Peace or for Literature. Issue ka ayo because she has lots of cases in the country of peddling fake news and false information. But then again, she was able to receive the Nobel Prize. Kaya lagi people were enamored kay tungod she was fighting the dictatorship of the current administration. But then again, we need to take note of the different legal responsibilities that we have as communicators and journalists. Right? Last duty and responsibility of communicators and journalists, we have the ethical responsibility. Whether you're a communicator or a journalist, we also, as people, as humans, we need to consider ethical responsibility. Now, as communicators and journalists in that context and in that regard, our responsibility, ethical responsibilities now is to deliver accurate and neutral information. Remember that it should be in the service of truth. So it should, so it should be neutral. The information should be neutral. Now, with that being said, it must have integrity. Whether we like it or not, we must have, or our information must have integrity. Muna siyang ato ang mga ethical responsibilities. Because if we do not have integrity with our delivery of the information, then ultimately, mahimo ragyod kang sapat. Samok lang dyan kayo ka. Alright? Now, As we go along with our discussion, let's try to check the progress that we have. Class, I have a question. How can journalists and communicators help the public in fact-checking the information that they read online? Again, how does journalists and communicators help the public in fact-checking the information they read online? It's our responsibility, but it does not mean that we need to tell and dictate people, ah, you need to check your facts and ultimately ma, ulawa na nun ang tao, di po pwede yung hunana. We just need to encourage and help, provide assistance and provide help to people in fact-checking the information that they read online because many, especially those that are very limited in their capacities, are not able to to check whether their information is factual or not. Muna, nga na natin ginatawag nga fake news. So, our role now is to help people, not to dictate, malign, or discriminate people, but to help them provide or to help them have access to be able to check whether their information is factual or biased, right? Now, with that being said, let's try to wrap up our discussion with these points that we need to ponder. Let's take note that communication allows people to share ideas and information, and this enables mutual understanding of social issues and concerns. That's very important that we need to highlight. Muna siya purpose sa communication. Now, another point that we need to consider is that journalists and communicators are expected to deliver factual information to the public. As professional practitioners of communication, they must be at the service of truth. That's a given. They must be at the service of truth. Now, when we talk about the functions of journalists and communicators, this consists of information, interpretation of news, guidance, education, and entertainment. So those are the different functions. Now, journalists and communicators must also exercise the duties and responsibilities embedded in their role as servers of information in society. These are reporting, working with people, legal responsibilities, and ethical responsibilities. Now, as what we have already discussed earlier, balik-balik na ko gina-emphasize, class, 
Why is integrity an important virtue among journalists and communicators? I believe that you already have the answer to this question. So I want you to jot it down in your notebooks and present it comprehensively. Observe the proper, uh, the proper parts of a particular essay. Why is integrity an important virtue among journalists and communicators? I hope you were able to take note of no, the salient points in this discussion. And if there are questions, make sure to jot them down so that we can cater them during our online feedbacking sessions. Thank you so much. That's all.